It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's, a whole lot, a lot of going on. it's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't sit with me. Come on, girls, let's get. A lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. Hey, creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. Who you doing, y'all? I must say, I did not know it was that many Libras in this world. It is a shit ton of Libras, and the Libras are laboring. I need y'all to go on and leave road up out of here. Now, I know y'all want me to be y'all a song, but for some reason my mind is not there today. But I do want to shout out my Libras. Y'all are some ride or die friends, and I fucks with y'all. But we gonna have to go on and scurry on down and get to this mess. Um, but before we do, I want y'all to give yourself a pat on the back. There is a lot going on, like I always say, and I like to always say this at the beginning of every show because there is wars going on across the world. Um... People are hungry. Some people are homeless, fighting depression. It's a lot of things going on. But you are here and you're here with me and we're sharing laughs. Even if you're laughing through pain, we're here and we made it through another week because you could be dead in your grave and wishing you had another day. So give yourself a pat on the back because I love you, love yourself, and God loves you too. Now, us of the world love a little mess. So let me go on and shout my friend out and that is Precious. Bitch. Precious, thank you so much for having my post notifications on, girl. You were the first to comment on my Twitter post. I greatly appreciate that. That lets me know that you are always ready to see what the hell I got to say. And I love that, and it makes me love you. So continue to support me, friend, and I'm going to have them come over there and support you. Hey, bitch. Okay, y'all already know what time it is, y'all. Favorite part, and that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying in some shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Hill Nicole and Taylor Swift. Now, child, let me tell y'all, this is messy. For those who don't know, Kayla Nicole is Travis Kelsey's ex-girlfriend. They had an on and off relationship from what, 2017 to May of 2022. They finally broke it up because there was this rumor where he said he wanted her to go half on things and they said allegedly she got mad about it. Now he came back and he said that was not true. She was wealthy on her own. She didn't need him, had her own endeavors, whatever the case may be. Woo, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So child, now he is the global pop star, Taylor Swift. Now y'all know them Swifties could be a whole lot, a whole lot of like, them are some young, evil ass children who just like the bullet, 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 bullet. Now, don't y'all come bullying me because I will just ignore it and keep it pushing. But I fucked with Taylor. For some apparent reason, his exes had got brought up who he dated. Y'all know how to keep up to keep up. And child, y'all started the mess. So they said, how did you go from Kayla Nicole to Taylor Swift? That was a downgrade. Then some were saying him going from Kayla Nicole to Taylor Swift was an upgrade. So y'all know this Swifties got real defensive, honey, and they went and they attacked this woman. She said nothing had nothing to do with it, and she got attacked, attacked, death threats, and things like that. So she came out, and this is what she said. Hey, guys. Kayla here. It's always been really important for me to use my platform not to create division, but to elevate and unite women, Black women specifically. So I prepared a letter and would like to share it with you today. Dear black girl, they may call you a traitor for falling in love. You'll hope the ones closest will protect you, but you will quickly find out that people don't protect what they don't value. They'll say you're too much, too provocative, too boisterous, too outspoken, and in the same breath tell you that you're not enough, not successful enough, not wholesome enough, maybe not even intelligent enough. They'll say you deserve the backlash and embarrassment. Because of your blackness, you should have known better. They'll even try to tie your value to your net worth. But black girl, please remember your value lies elsewhere. 
Your value is deep within your heart. Now, baby, y'all know them comments is finna eat her up. They said, no, girl, how can you sit up here and talk about dear black girl when you out here dating a whole white man? I said, now, y'all need to be ashamed of yourself because it's insane to receive hate and judgment for loving someone outside your race, but to also receive it within your race is messed up. I feel love is love despite whoever you date. Now, you can be in them comments all day, battling with somebody back and forth, back and forth. It's just you and maybe three other people. But when you have thousands and millions of people in your DMs every day, every second, every minute, every hour, just telling you, fuck you, die, you ain't worth it, your network ain't this, you look like that, you ain't good enough to be with him, you should have known better to be with him. Girl, why you think this was gonna work? He white, you black. All of this, everybody isn't built to withstand that type of pressure, that type of energy. Taylor should at least came out and said, I have no problem with this woman. Why are y'all attacking her? It's like no celebrity ever stands up and tells their fandom to stop. You'd be surprised how much influence you have over your fandoms or supporters or fans or whatever you want to call them if you just say something. But to sit back and allow people to just attack someone. This woman is crying out letting y'all know I'm getting attacked, I'm getting death threats, and no one is saying anything. But if we being messy on messy minded, <laughs> child, the streets were saying you weren't saying dear black girl when you was with the man. <laughs> they say don't call us. Don't call us. <laughs> they say don't call us now. You want to talk about a dear black girl? You want to say dear black girl? Yeah, I ain't got to do it, girl. I, I, <laughs> Now, if you want to get down to the nitty gritty, Maya brought herself into this situation, his other ex, but Kayla was dragged to hell. Now, also, when people want to say, how is this about race? Baby, when them folks said that uh, Travis went back to his roots, bitch, that's motherfucking racist, honey. So, child, y'all can miss with all that bullshit. And the funny thing is, this woman has been dragged for years just for loving a white man. Loving a white man. And now that she's done with a white man, she still get a drag. You know, girl, you, damn if you do, damn if you don't. God damn it. If it ain't about me, let's keep it next case. Next for Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Juicy. And the first thing I want to say is, girl, go lay. We are so tired of you and your input. It's always something, something, something and how you feel. Man, if he ain't whining, he whining while he's singing. And at this point, go in. So y'all know Drake and Joe Budden have been going back and forth with each other about their little situation. So Tusa decided to come out and put his little two cents in, and this is what he said. I'm going to be real. I hate how these people with these podcasts doing Drake. We got people in their mid-30s talking about how they can't resonate with his music no more. How they used to be an Aubrey's angel. You're in your mid-30s. You get what I'm saying? Like, you're no longer in college dating a f***ed up guy who you in, in a dorm room cuddling toes with and you don't got nowhere else to go. So you got to deal with all your problems while living with this. Like, yo, you're you're no longer living that lifestyle. Huh? The, the music is not supposed to. You're in your mid-30s, okay? The music's not supposed to resonate. It's not supposed to resonate with you. He's not making music for for mid thirty year olds. He's not. Now, if the younger crowd don't like the album, why? Right, that's what it is. But why is people like what the fuck? It's not y'all not pull it. Like I don't know, man. Tuesday, first of all, bitch, you try it. You're in your mid thirties. Well, motherfucker, Drake's in his thirties. You dumb fuck. He's thirty six. Stupid, nigga. Fool, you just so dumb. If you put this much energy into your music, then maybe we will listen to you, but you ain't even doing shit with your shit. Worry about your fans instead of worry about what his fans is saying. Ignorant fuck. Ignorant. <laughs> anyway, bitch, you weren't shooting in the gym when we were shooting with Dre. Bitch, we was out there. We are the four fans. We are the ones that got Drake where he is. Us, the mid-30 people, bitch. <laughs> Fuck. 
fuck is you talking about? Hell, we did that. We did that. And we just want to see growth. Don't be, it's cool to be in it for the money, but still grow with your artists. We the one buying tickets. We doing that. We going to the concert. Okay? We trickling away because them is all for the children. So then we buy tickets for our children to go see him. What is you talking about? And y'all so motherfucking fickle, bitch. Let him do something wrong. Y'all gonna cancel him tomorrow. So you set your motherfucking ass up and steal your motherfucking place. Because we're not saying the man can't make the music for children as well. That's fun. Give them some stuff to listen to, but also remember your core audience with, who, who came up with you, who started with you. All the folks in our age group are saying is, damn, throw us a little something. Can we get some bread, bro? <laughs> you talking about still laying up in the dorm? Nigga, you didn't even go to college. <laughs> right? Right? You didn't even go to college. And we ain't talking about the grass Hey, stop. Dick riding. I think you saying this bullshit because you know your shit sound the same fucking way. You done made love cycle in different lyrics about 50 fucking different times. <laughs> Bitch. Oh my fan. It's tired of you too. <laughs> and what pissed me off is people keep saying in the 30s, in the 30s. I can't wait. See y'all getting y'all 30s. I want to see if y'all sex and reds and still talking about pound town fuck this. I want to see if y'all other folks are still talking about slanging dope, doing that, and all this other whatever the fuck. I just want to see, are y'all still going to make the music for your children so then the folks can talk about you saying, oh, you all still doing this. You all still doing that. I, I cannot wait. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Let's see how many of these rappers are still around when they 30, 35, 36. We gonna see. If it ain't about me, I hope you get to see 30. Next case. Next Mr. Honey Ice Tea, we have Lil Scrappy and Erica. Now child, this is delusional at its finest. Now Scrappy responds to a comment after he shares a video of him and Erica at a luau for her birthday. Now in the comments, as you can see, somebody has said a man's revenge is a woman and a woman's revenge is a bigger bag. So then Scrappy comes back and he very much says what he needs to say. And he's like, man, y'all move on, whatever, whatever the case may be. Remember, she got her kickback. She's with a dude already. She just ain't told y'all. If y'all want to go cheer her up, whatever, whatever, go to her page. Now, what I feel is going on is he tipping back down memory lane because now he's upset that Miss Bambi done move on. Because you was just apologizing to Bambi, and then you out in Hawaii with a luau with Erica. When let's not forget, even though Erica did leave him, you disrespected this woman for years on years on years. And then he was just dogging you, talking about child support when he wasn't even taking care of the baby either. And then you back with him, girl. Y'all meant to fuck each other all this over a woman. This woman down there came blow for blow with your mama, and then y'all over here lollygagging and smiling like shit ain't happening. Yeah, people can grow up. You can grow. But honey, y'all, honey, one thing a man gonna do is go back to his ex, baby. Y'all better learn that. But let me tell you something, a ship that sails backwards never sees a sunset. How you doing? And what the street saying? Erica got cheated on with Diamond and could potentially make a comeback after Diamond. <laughs> and y'all, can we talk about something? Let me tell y'all something, let me tell y'all something. Is she the run back girl? Because when Diamond left, he ran back, and then he played her with Shay. Now, she takes him back after Bambi. That ain't no idea. But I ain't saying it together, but it's just a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. Now, after all that was going on, Eric comes out and she explains how her and Scrappy are just cool. Me and Money's father are cool. We are family. We're in a, a good space. Some of y'all be some weirdos. Like, I'm big on accountability moving forward. Um, I ultimately have to have a relationship, deal with him forever because we do share a child. E Money's going to get married one day, have kids, and share a grandchild. Like, we just go forever be family. I mean, some people get it, some people don't. And I think we just both at a place where we just want peace. But he's single, you know. Y'all want to holler at him? Jump in his DM. What I'm learning as I continue to travel 
and just experience different cultures. Our culture, we hate each other and, and hold on to just anger and resentment like the most. And that's why we don't prosper at all. Girl, if you just want a little Disney, just say that. Your child is grown. God did not, not have to go on vacation to do this. <laughs> to co parent. Girl, miss us with that, baby. Miss us with it. Fuck it. Let her help her cousins with his groceries on her vacation. Let her do that. Cause baby, we is not falling for that. We got a child together bullshit when the child is like 18 up years old, baby. That child is spending for them, <laughs> spending for themselves right now. Y'all love throwing y'all children into y'all bullshit. <laughs> Leave them children out y'all mess. It's just mighty funny to me how y'all can be cool now. Uh-huh, and oh, it's a co-parent. We gotta worry about the children. No little whatever. But when he was married, y'all could stand each other. So my question is, what type of cool are we? I ain't going on no vacation with my baby daddy if we're not together. So let's just be honest. Y'all are cool because he's no longer with Bambi. She don't like Bambi. He's divorcing her, and that's why she's okay and comfortable with him. Let's stop playing motherfucking games around this motherfucker. We goddamn grown. And she, and let's be real, Erica is a Libra. And what y'all gonna motherfucking do when y'all Libra is y'all gonna say, hey, go on and have him, be with him, whatever, knowing fully goddamn well that that motherfucker ain't going no but I'm gonna leave it alone. When it's done in the dark, we'll come to the light and we're gonna leave it at that. Spin it how you want. If it ain't about me, let's keep eating it, okay? Next on the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Jada and her sister, Jess. Now, Jada speaks on her relationship with her sister, Jasmine, and why she decides to love her from afar. And then, not only that, she claps back at a critic who asked her, okay, well, why don't you have that same energy for the person from her previous relationship? So when she claps back about the sister situation, she goes in depth and she just says, hey, I love my sister, but sometimes you have to remove yourself from people because she has tried over and over and over again with her sister, but she feels as though her sister lets the internet trolls and the comments influence her and she does the same thing every time. So then she goes on and she says her sister plays with her in public, but she would never do her like that. And her sister knows that. And that's why her sister comments on certain posts and likes things um, because she knows Jada won't go to that level. She ends it with, I love her to death. I will be there for her, do whatever for her, but they just cannot be together. And then the comment about the relationship was, girl, shut up. Have that same energy towards that nigga. He embarrassed and humiliated you for years and you let him run back. Give him the same energy you give your blood. And then she goes, she says, the shit I give and expect my sister will never compare to what I expect from a nigga. Now Jada, I'ma just say this. Yes, we do hold our family, which is cousins, mom, dad, and everybody to a higher standard. So that is why, yes, it is going to hurt us more. It is going to make us be upset more than it would with somebody else, like a friend betraying you. But you don't turn your back. Y'all work it out. Y'all fix it. Y'all understand where it went wrong. Like you said, you can expect that from this person. You can expect them to do you like that. So it should be easy for you to say, well, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, you want to have that loyalty, but fuck you. I ain't got no ties to you besides this baby, but anything else, fuck you. Now, I will agree if someone keeps doing it over and over and over and over again, I do agree. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're my mama, my daddy, who you are. If you continue to disrespect me and, and, and bring me turmoil and trauma, I will cut anybody off for my peace. I can love you from afar. And maybe that's what you're saying. Maybe stuff is happening that we don't know behind the scenes. But yes, I will have to love you from afar. But um, the word on the curve is this right here. The back in 2015, 16, that your sister was having your back no matter what. She was there for you and riding for you. Even with the war with these ladies when they came in and took your shop upside down. And they said, you left your sister for dead. Then they said, don't act like you ain't dogged your sister out, friend. Now, I don't know. I didn't really get into all the mess like that back then. But this is what the streets is saying. Then they go on and say, on impact, you used your sister for a storyline. And yada, yada, yada. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So, I don't know if it's a tit for tat thing. Or you and your sister have some unfinished business that y'all need to work out and figure out. 
But the streets is also saying that they feel that your y'all parents had something to do with this. They said your daddy funded your business and your endeavors and things like that. Then your mama always treated you like you was the golden child. And you never know. Sometimes that can make a child feel some type of way. Like, what do y'all see in Jada that I don't have? And I'm doing the same thing. Like, what is it? And it can cause a love hate between you and your sister because of your parents. And it's not even y'all hating each other. It's what someone else has created in the midst of it that has pulled y'all apart. And maybe y'all need to sit down and say, it hurt me how mom and dad believed in you and did this and pushed you and felt like I was nothing. Maybe y'all need to sit down and talk about that instead of just saying, this is how I feel. This is what I feel like. I don't feel like you did that. Nah, 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 It's always I, 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 me, 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 me. And not, well, I understand how you feel. So I don't know, child. I hope they figure this out because I don't like to see family fussing with each other because I, I love my family. Yeah, we may go through our ups and downs, but one thing about it, it may last two, three, four, five months. We're going to find our way back to each other. And one thing about it, don't fuck with my family, though, if it ain't about me. Let's get key next case. All right, you guys, that's all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of all, okay, we have Peter versus Bass Flow. Now, baby, this is disgusting because it is the month of October, which is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And honey, I ain't here for it. I don't know how all this started. I don't know how long this has been going on, but word on the curb is it's been going on for a long time. And there has been signs of it. My eyes put the it hurt my feelings. I hit my butt. I hit my butt. Look at her eye. Close her eye. Yeah, I feel and hit my face. Stay still. Look. So look, it's not right here and not right here. So look, so I'm trying to see what you hit it. Look. So look, just close it. So I just want to. She hit the corner. Oh, that's your piercing. My bad. So she hit the corner of her eye. Stop touching it. it hurt. Well, she hit the corner of her eye and it got the whole little eye. Hey, tell her give me some fire, guys, man. She's not trying to give me no fire. All right, I just told you, your other eye finna be black. I don't know, bro. It look, it look kind of weird. Hey, bro, you gonna stop screaming at me for real for your other eye be black. Put your hands on me because so I was born If you a nigga, I could beat your ass right now then. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you can. Oh, whoop pills. that nigga. Whoop that nigga. Bro, whoop that nigga, bro. Whoop your ass right now. Whoop that nigga. This is gonna be. You can't see. Stop grabbing my bag like that. Why don't you put them back in the purse? Why would we use kind of what? Doing the fuck else? Do ah! Stop playing with me. Stop. Who is we all? Who is we all? I told you I was fucking with these niggas. Who is we all? Ah! 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 Who is we all? Who is we all? The nigga I was using the car. So Karina had took to her social media and she had posted up some pictures of the incident of what happened. And I'm just like, ain't no way. You being a man could not control your anger enough to where you did this to a woman? That is ridiculous. And then he had the nerve to say, don't believe everything you see. Well nigga, what the fuck we supposed to believe? Who the fuck did she fell down the flight of stairs? She beat her on that? That's what pissed me off. Why the hell do y'all not just keep your mouth shut instead of saying, don't believe everything? Let me see your face. If your shit ain't looking like that, then nigga, there ain't no reason for her face to look like that. I need you to have a gash on your face, a knot on your head, your throat a little slit, something closed, beat the fuck up, tooth missing, for her face to look like that. Don't believe everything you see? Don't believe everything you see. Boy, you got me fucked up. Keep playing with me. And I swear to God, you gonna see some flow. I swear. Now it just makes sense about the video she made a while back with the black eye and tried to say she ran into something. Ladies, y'all gotta stop protecting these men. And then for the women in the comments to say, oh baby, there's something else behind this. You must have put your hands on him. I don't give a damn. It ain't no reason to be nobody senseless like this. Why this nigga been going outside like ain't shit ever happened? He going around lying about what the happened, so now I'm finna tell the truth. I, w I hate to even have to do this shit, but what you not gonna do is live like you ain't do this to me. I promise you, you gonna feel me. Stop playing with me. Man, you could be in jail right now for 
me, how you fuck with me, how you played in my face like you played in my face, bitch. Everybody needs to know the real love. He keeps saying that shit ain't happen like this. Some hit me in my, no. Every time, every scratch, every bruise, every dot, every speck on my face is from him punching me in my shit like I'm a nigga going in my shit. Stop clowning me. That nigga put his hands on me. He punched me in my face over and over and over again. And no matter what I was doing, I'm a girl. Yes, I fight. Yes, I'm a fighter. But I'm not going to beat no nigga like this. He could have restrained me, if anything. And all I was doing was defending myself, and I could barely even do that. I was in that house asking for help. I was in that house. I didn't even want to go to the house. This nigga made me go to the house. What he, he not going to do is get on here acting like he's a good person, y'all, because he's the devil. Anything that fucks with him after this is dumb. You a retard. And he going to beat the too. That nigga dead ass almost fucking killed me. And y'all gonna sit here and oh my god. Da -da 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 -da. Bitch, y'all gonna see. The real flow is gonna come out soon. And why do you think nobody else is him? We all know the real flow. Keep clowning me. Flow deserves to be in jail. Flow deserves to be in hell. Just like fucking Croshawn said, bitch. You're going to jail in hell, bitch. That nigga still have not made sure I was good since he did this to me. That nigga could have killed me that night. My whole nose is broken. And this nigga still ain't did shit to make sure I'm good. All he could do is go outside and party like the shit ain't never happened. And then outside telling people that I'm capping, I'm delusional, all this shit. My nigga, I'm not delusional about shit. And one thing about me, I can handle my liquor. Floyd cannot, y'all. This nigga is addicted to alcohol. He turns into a different person every time he's bro. drunk. And I promise you, everybody can witness. PJ, let's go. Did this nigga not put me in a whole fucking truck and take me to the house? Be honest. Yeah. Them motherfuckers put me in the truck and took me to that house when I said I do not want to go there. I told the, the, the bodyguard, I said, I do not take me to that house. Do not take me to that house. They forced me to that house, bro. Took my phone for hours. I'm getting my ass beat for hours with no phone. Can't call nobody. Can't get no help. Bitch, I'm telling it all. Fuck you. Both was just not the, like, I, she would tell you, bro. I was on the phone with this girl earlier and she told people this. She told people this and people could vouch, I swear to God. She told people this. She said every time me and Flo got into it or something happened, I put my hands on him first. Karina would tell you, I have a problem with putting my hand on niggas. I, that's how I, that's how I, shit. I put my hand on people. That's how I do. Karina would tell you this. She would tell you this. That's how I go about things. I put my hand on people. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Just keep it real. Don't just get on this scene like, oh, brother, just, I'm just hitting. I'm just doing all this and this and that. Man, come on, man. How long can you take? How long is it gonna take you to pull your hair out of you and just, just until until you finally wreck? But like, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, we all. She was drunk. I'm drunk. But it's like I didn't just start out just fighting this girl. But on oh, my soul. Deeper, but I ain't trying to get into details to the whole night because. So then, once it all hit the internet and she had posted those pictures, you know, he's in the group filming over everything with Jazz, Jordan, and all them. Jazz ended up putting out a statement, and this is what she said right here. Basically, stating that she doesn't condone domestic violence and so on and so forth, and yada, yada, yada. And to me, I'm like, okay, cool, great. She spoke out because mind you, be living in your house. And what kind of pissed me off is, you mean to tell me y'all never saw none of this? Y'all never saw no signs? Like, don't speak up now because it done hit the internet. Where was it when it was happening in the house? You get what I'm saying? Like, that house tends to have this type of situation going on a little bit too much. And what did piss me off is when everybody came out with the same shit. Y'all mean to tell, okay, okay. Uh, Y'all can come up with your own words. That to me just feels like that's insensitive. You don't really give a fuck. You don't really give a damn. It's just let me save my face and let me clear my name and so nobody cancels me. Because ain't no fucking way I'm gonna sit here and put this up after somebody else wrote it and y'all gonna think I'm sincere about the motherfucking situation. Ain't no goddamn way. And in the post, the post, one person posted, one person posted and unfollowed me. Everybody posted enough out of me. Why make their own statement? Why one? Why it take for one person to post enough out of me for everybody to do it? Why? Oh yeah, she said she wanted. She the reason why she was trying to fight. She wanted to fight everybody who was around me after that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I talked to Karina, and like, and me personally, I've been falling back from. I put this on my soul. 
right handed guy. You can ask, uh, man, I ain't trying to put it. But man, you can ask Karina. You can ask Karina. Your I've been falling back. I've been falling back. I've been telling her, yeah, I'm finna get my own. I'm finna, I'm finna do this. I just feel, I don't just feel right now. Feel like it's some. Sh you know, and I just feel like I even told my like, yeah, brother, I'm, I'm man, I'm finna do my own. So there's somebody in the comments that came for Jordan. Was like, Jordan, um. You might want to sit this one out. And that's when Karina came up. Ain't that her name, Sierra? Whatever her name is. I think Sierra. She came up and she tried to defend them. And I was like, sister. Bitch, did you forget everything you used to say? Because, baby, y'all was on Mr. Monday. Day after day after day after day. So, girl, you might want to hush, too. And that's when the people brought back up her shit. And they embarrassed her. Want to slap me, bitch? So I step it up to me, I dare you. I dare you. I triple dog dare you. Touch me if you want to. Touch me if you want to. So then they go and they make a mockery out of it. They, they joke about, you know, putting him out and his room is available and this is what they put up. Uh, I look at the computer. The computer say, Floyd said, fuck T.I., fuck Nelly, fuck 50. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? My brother said he ain't trying to ruin his image, so you know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping, my brother ain't trying to ruin his image. So you know what I'm saying? He ain't trying to ruin his image, so I'ma not let him ruin his image. Cause I promise you, if that would've happened to that, if that would've happened to that, I would've never posted no like that, nigga. I would've never in my life posted no like that, nigga. That nigga making a TikTok talking about something. And then talk about, no, no, that, that brother. Man, that's my little brother, man. Like, my little brother, like, that's my little brother. I brought my little brother into this. I brought my brother to Houston. I got my brother doing YouTube shit. I, got, I, I really changed my little brother's life, man, for real. Like, my little brother, you feel what I'm saying? He told, that's what he told me. He ain't want to fuck with me. So when he told me that, I'm like, okay, cool, brother. Because if that shit would have happened to you, nigga, I promise you, I would have never posted no shit like that. I would have never in my life posted no shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying, though. It is what it is. Everybody just ain't thrilled, you know what I'm saying? Karina didn't do anything. I didn't do shit, y'all. I caught this nigga doing something. I caught him doing something. He wanted to fight me. I caught him. Bro, from the whole beginning of the night, Flo is an ancient ass nigga. He let a nigga punch me in my face and did not do shit about it. Because Mike said don't do shit. My nigga, you your own man. You Y'all, I swear to God, can't no motherfucker walk up to Karina. They let a random nigga me. punch me in my face. And that's how I knew I was done with Flo in the first place. Because... You said it's cool. Don't come on this bitch and make it seem like she's just a bad person. Because she's not a bad person at all, you feel me? But it's like, I've got dreads pulled out of my head and shit like that and all that shit. You don't see me on this bitch. Man, she pulled my dreads out. She do. She tried to do this. She's breaking this. She's doing... No, I ain't on this bitch doing all that. You know why? Because at the end of the day, I'm not bringing nothing to the media and I don't want nobody in my business. You feel what I'm saying? It is what it is. Though. Like I said, I told my side of the story. It is what it is. I ain't got nothing else to say about this shit. I'm, I'm straight on it. You know what I'm saying? Like I say. I'm straight on it. You can ask any nigga I be around, bro. I'm a thorough bro. I'm a thorough nigga. So, child, Flo's ex-girlfriend, Noonie, Nunu, whatever, she come out and she had to say this. You no, know, Flo's ex, Noonie, posted a statement because people kept asking her, was she ever abused? She also wasn't here for the little skit that Jazz and the crew posted. So she states, everybody in my DM asking me questions regarding Flo, and I can only speak for myself. Flo never put hands on me. I'm not saying what happened ain't effed up, but everybody trying to kick him while he down. It's just funny to me because y'all claim y'all family. It's tatted and all. This the same ish y'all tried when I left Left that week a house everybody in that house be on some weird ish please don't do too much because i've been ready then she states all i'm saying is clowning your family for clicks and laughs when you literally have done worse it's so crazy to me people do whatever to save their own name i'm sick of the lame ish everybody too grown for real if you so bad and tough then be bad and tough don't try to push out one bad person so the rest don't get exposed girl you was better off not saying a motherfucking thing because to me that is insensitive just because he never did that to you don't mean he didn't do it to this person right here. Period. Everybody has their own relationships. Now, I could see you standing up for him with his friends, turning their back on him and not being good friends and not saying, hey, 
You were wrong. What you did was fucked up. Let's get you some help. I understand that. So instead of going on the internet, making a joke out of it, embarrassing him, just kicking him out the house. What, but what they're doing is they're just saving faith. But to put your two cents and say, wait, he ain't do this to me? Well, girl, luckily. And not only that, Funny Mike came out and this is what he had to say. You supporting Flo? Y'all crazy. Cause a lot of this shit didn't go how y'all think that shit went. That's all I'm gonna say. And whoever don't like me cause I'm standing with them. All right, like I said, I don't condone any shit, but shit happens, man, with relationships and why we around. I don't know what happened. I didn't see that shit with my own eyes. I was too busy getting into it with my So what? Me and I was getting into it. I don't know what the had going on when I left. I was in my own truck. But anyway, whoever don't like me, because I'm standing with them, hey, fuck you. Just don't disrespect me. You don't disrespect me and shit. We cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, you know. I'll let he say, she say shit, man. I ain't with all that. If you don't like me, just let me know that. Yeah, because a lot of that shit ain't go how that shit was supposed to go. That shit went, man. It's a whole lot of, that is a whole deeper story to that whole night. But I'm not gonna explain myself. Nigga don't fuck him. That's how I'm coming. Just don't play with me. So now apparently Funny Mike and Jalea were getting into it that night as well. So Funny Mike is stating, I don't know what all happened, but people mess up and he's standing with him. Now, obviously Funny Mike only knows what Flo has told him, but he did also confirm in that live that no, he didn't buy Flo in a apartment. Now I love me some Funny Mike. I do. I love some Funny Mike. But Mike, I have to disagree. I, I have to disagree. Yes, people go through their stuff. Yes, people go through their situations and things like that. But it's, men need to start holding their homeboys accountable for not knowing how to control their anger. These are women. Yes, women might say some things or even push you to that level to want to do something. Walk away. Women, you need to walk away. Stop pushing me and putting your fingers in their face. But at the end of the day, a man is strong. You're powerful. So your hits are going to hurt. There is no excuse. I don't care for you to put your hands on a woman. And for y'all to sit here and not hold your homeboys and friends accountable for this stuff is sick. But then y'all want to sit here and say, nobody better to touch my daughters. Y'all have daughters, sisters, mothers. What if somebody did that to y'all mother and sister? Where's the O? It's just me and people go through their stuff. I go through this with my... Nah, y'all want to kill niggas then. But anyway, child, I don't know. This is a whole, a whole lot of... And I, it just sucks that men cannot control their anger. Men are just getting weaker and weaker and weaker as the years go by. Like, what happened to men? Like, I know I can't say because I'm, you know, I'm a little sister girl. I'm a little, you know, uh, feminine, but... I will never put my hands on no woman and I even act and portray to be like women. I ain't even put my hands on women, but y'all niggas put y'all hands on women. Chill, I don't know. Sick to me. If it ain't about me, let's kick it. Next egg. Next one, okay, we have Jazz and Tay. Now, honey, the streets is screaming because I think the girl is happy about this situation. And it seems as though these two might rekindle and make some shit shake. Ever do a sit down video with Jazz? Why am I? Why? <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but this, this question got me a little choked up. <laughs> I went blank. <laughs> Yes, I would love to do a sit down video with Jazz. Like, it's no smoke with me and Jazz. <laughs> will you ever do a video with Tay again? Um, people ask me that all the time. I, I I think I can see it later on down the line. Like later, later, I think I can. I feel like we both I mature to do a video. I feel like we both mature. I, like it's been a minute. It's December. been a minute. It's going on almost three years. Mm -hmm. We broke up December of 2020. Mm -hmm. It's going through. I feel like we both like y'all understand, y'all. Then that whole time span, we weren't like how how happy we weren't sneaky linking in 
Yeah. We yeah. have not communicated, y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like during that time, we have both grown. I don't know mm -hmm. if she grown all she, yeah, like, I can't really tell you, but I, I know I've grown. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, I feel like we could be definitely cool. We, we adults, be cool, bro. Dude. We grown. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Too. We grown as hell. Be cordial. Nobody have no hate towards nobody. Yeah. So, why not make the money? Right. Ah! Now what I can say is people actually liked this couple because they were never in drama, they never had anything going on besides you know, their arguments off camera that we did not get to see. Now other people are saying that, you know, the reason they feel like they just sporadically just ended everything was because Tay didn't really like girls. And then you got the other side saying, well yes she did, they were together for three to five years. Let me tell y'all something, somebody will have an attraction to you. But it's not really who they are at that time. Maybe at that time, Tay may have liked Jazz and just got in the relationship, but that's not completely where she was. You know what I'm saying? People could have a sexual attraction to women, but relationship-wise and life-living-wise, they want to be with a man. I know a lot of people like that. And that's who people are. You can't judge them. We have so many different people in this world. But I feel people are excited about this link up and I do think it will turn the YouTube side of the internet back up. But if we gonna be messy about the situation, Crystal wasn't tripping. I couldn't even think the same, eat the same B word. I'm gonna make your chest cave in. Then she says, a B word gonna go back to what she used to know when she knows she can't F with nothing over here. That's all I'ma say. Then someone calls Crystal bitter. Crystal responds with bitter for what? I get N words. I ain't mad over no effing dyke. Have it. Then she posts photos from a club that they were at when they had a sign saying your ex could never. She states, anyways, life's great. My favorite birthday signs, Libra. So I'm pretty sure people were sending this to Jazz. Jazz went on to tweet, it is what it is. Go be mad about it. Cry to God, not me. Crystal responds with, keep it cute before I tell who really be crying. Then she also says, she beefing with me cause I went outside and found a better N word. My fault, you should have played with the B word who couldn't do better. Someone responds with, Crystal, you ain't found nobody better than her. You really wanna cry. Crystal responds with, cry for what? B word, these are Chanel tears. So Tay just gracefully posted a video of her and a dog laughing. And, and it's just funny, people be getting mad at the new girlfriends and boyfriends when they attack the exes, but shit like this be happening. It's kind of funny. Now y'all want to do a hot seat and rekindle things and shit cool after her and Crystal break up. Just like Erica and them. Now y'all mysteriously cool and can co-parent, but when he was with Bambi, oh, it was just a whole lot of whole lot of going on. Crystal wasn't tripping, baby. She wasn't tripping. Ooh, it's just a whole lot of whole lot of going on. It's just a whole lot of whole lot going on. That house is just. Stay away from that house. If it ain't about me, let's keep in this case. Next on the docket, we got Corey and Corey. Now y'all, <laughs> these two, they be, <laughs> these two be up to no good, baby, you hear me? up to no good they removed each other from their instagram profiles and corey went out for funny mike's birthday and when he returned carmen had moved all of her and the kids stuff out of the house finally bro i got my house hey you know even though i'm gonna go get another house but i finally got my shit man i came home and i, I let the motherfucker had no idea what it is you know what i'm saying the motherfucker knew what it was and i ain't bullshit and nigga finally free, man. This shit feel good. This shit feel good. A nigga finally free, man. God damn, bro. The holding me back and manipulation, boy. Nigga finally fucking free, man. Y'all don't understand. Like, y'all might hit to the joke. But it hit different from when it's real life versus, you know what I'm saying, social media, so. This shit finally real, boy. I'm finally go, boy. I, I, I finally can. I, I still gotta hold on to a little shit because these motherfuckers still. But I'm finally free, bro. Y'all fuck. Y'all don't understand, bro. These niggas don't understand what just happened. 
I love y'all. I know y'all finna, I, I know y'all finna be got there confused, but no, 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 don't be confused, nigga. I'm finally free, bro. I don't gotta take care of no more. This shit's ridiculous. Now y'all know damn well these two didn't motherfucking break up. Y'all come on, y'all be really about the situation. I just think they're moving from Texas. Now we're gonna get there. Let's just go back to the beginning. So they've unfollowed each other on social medias, right? They've unfollowed each other, whatever the case may be. Whoop, 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 yeah, yeah, yada. And now CJ has been seen with this new mysterious woman who's now allegedly his assistant. I'm just saying, I'll let you know. You know how you get you get goofy. Never. Get that skyline, GTR. What, what was that? Some of my face still? Right here? No. I don't know after people saw her touching his face on that Instagram live, Corey quickly had to go and clear things up. I thought I could meet a great ass assistant. Now I have me a 24 hour assistant guy that's always with me. Making sure my life go great. Shit is amazing. So Corey stated that this girl is his assistant for 24 hours a day. So does that mean she's going to be moving in with him? Now she's been trying to keep it on the low. I mean, Corey was recording a video. You can see her in the background here trying to move out of the camera's way, but she was spotted. So this is Corey's assistant. Now, when they were on Instagram Live, Corey did introduce her. Hey, we ground mode, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, oh God, we in straight ground mode. That's all. You feel me? I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? My sister, she don't like being seen. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you work for me now. It's over. You got to be seen. Members. Corey has now said he is moving to Miami. Y'all hear me? Corey said he's moving to Miami. So, brrrr. Corman is moving too. So what do you do? Play it off like we broke up. Um, follow each other. Get these views up. I'm with another woman right now. Like she's my assistant, whatever the case may be. But the gag is Corman's just moving her stuff to Miami. And y'all are out here thinking that they done broke up and she done moved on and whatever the case may be. No, until I see divorce papers, them two are still together. And y'all be falling for it every time. Until we see divorce papers, they together, period. But then the gag is, Corey is saying he wants to travel, he wants to do this, he wants to do that, but Corman can't do it. Like, they get spilling tea, so this was kind of got me on the fence. Like, well, damn, they really break up or they not? Because Corey is saying he want to travel, he want to do this, and Corman can't do that because she is an illegal immigrant. He said in his last live that he wanted a girl that he could travel with because Carmen couldn't leave the country. Corey said she couldn't. Maybe she can't get a passport because she's not a citizen. Another person states the fact that they made the Prince family seem crazy when exposing she wasn't a citizen and they wasn't lying this whole time is crazy. Now, Corey didn't actually say why Carmen couldn't leave the country, but people are assuming it's because she's not a citizen. Like I stated, the Prince family had exposed that four years ago. And then, is that why they got married? Because he was dating her? So they only got married in a courthouse? Just so they could stay together and be together and she could stay in Georgia and not be in trouble. And maybe that's why she never traveled with him because she ain't got no Corey's former cameraman exposed Corey for taking all of Carmen's money, having all the money. She doesn't have access to anything. Well, now Corey is stating it appears that Carmen may have went to one of his friends to borrow Let me money. Tell y'all something, man. When you go borrow money from your friend and don't even tell your you don't even. You don't even ask your the bread. You ask your nigga friend for the bread, and you don't pay him back. Let y'all have it. Y'all women different nowadays. I guess y'all can do what y'all want to do. What I'm not getting is Carmen shouldn't have to go to your friend Corey to borrow money because you should be giving her money because she has two of your kids. Plus, she has her own channel, which she should be making money from. But now if they have it set up where all the money is going to one account, then Carmen wouldn't have access to those funds. Oh, my God. This is messy. 
But y'all, we gonna see how this play out. I'm telling y'all, she gonna end up being in Miami with him. I think it's a good move for them to get up out of Houston and get to Miami. No, Carmen, you better run, girl. You better run, girl, because when he get in Miami, that's a new breed of women, baby. <laughs> Content is about to content. If it ain't about me, let's kick in. Let's get All right, now this popped up at the last minute. I was getting ready to take my filming and put it on my computer so I can edit, and baby, this came up. Now we got Grace Hood versus Karina. Now, from what I gathered, trying to move real quick, K Hood is trying to manage flow. Flo is the guy who we just talked about previously who hit on Karina, which is her ex-boyfriend. Now, Karina claimed that Flo hit her up asking, hey, what's going on? What happened? Can I get the story? Y'all want to know why I'm fighting K? Let me tell the whole story right now. I'll just explain the whole fucking story. When me and Flo got into it, K was so-called trying to be Flo manager and manage the fucking situation. She the one who hit me up in my DMs. Hey, um, Karina, can you call me? Call me. So I call her. And explain the whole situation to her. And tell her exactly what the fuck happened. She's trying to be flow manager. So she's trying to help him get out of the shit. I'm trying to help her at this point too. I'm like, you know what? If Flo wants to be a man, he needs to own up to the shit. And say that he's sorry for what the fuck he did. And that can be that. She texted me like, well, Flo said he's going to say this and then say this. I'm like, no, he don't need to say nothing but the truth. Because if he says anything but the truth, I'm going to go on here. And I'm going to tell the exact whole story of what the fuck happened. K is the one who kept texting me about the shit. Like she would wanted to be his manager, which is the only reason why I kept hitting her up. The only reason why I hit her up yesterday is because Flo told me he was staying with her. And I seen him make that live. I said, I don't know why you let him make that live lying because I'm going to tell the truth now. And then that's when me and her started getting into it. She talking about something. I'm not finna knock a nigga when he down. I really don't care. I really don't care. Bitch, if you didn't care, why the fuck did you hit me up from the beginning? I don't even know you, bitch. I don't even know you. I don't know you from a can of fucking paint. Why you keep trying to speak on my life like I haven't been? Bitch, I've been around you for five minutes. In that ugly, unfurnished ass house, bitch. You talking about my apartment, bitch? My house look better than yours. I, I don't give a fuck. I'd be a millionaire, bitch, and I still want about the house you stay in. That shit is ugly as fuck. And it's unfurnished as a motherfucker, bitch. Your couch is un. So I don't really know where him. I mind my business. You hear me? I'm a mind, I'm a, I'm a real mind my business ass bitch. Now, I fought with folks, though. And I make sure people straight on, on kick people when they down or leave folks for dead. If you ever need me, you can call me. I'm the type of motherfucking influence you to be bigger in life. So, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with Flo. Like, just real shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Fuck with bro. He been calling me and I been trying to make sure he's straight. I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep your head on the swivel even if you fucked up. I'm telling bro, hey, you, you, hey, I'm telling bro straight up to myself like, hey, I need you to fix this situation. I been trying to sign you. And he know this. Every fucking, every other day we talk about this music shit. And you know I don't really, like, I've been trying to take that real seriously. And I don't really play. And if you know I've been trying to sign people, bitch, I've been trying to sign people. And I, I done put down money for this shit. When that boy come to Atlanta, when he come to Atlanta, and he got a motherfucking, and he, whenever he come to Atlanta, he doing music. He doing songs. He doing this. He working. Bitch, I'm not one of them friends. If you come around me lallygagging, you're going to get in the studio and you're going to work. That's just what it was. I've been trying to sign, bro, for like months. Since he put, I've been trying to sign, bro, because I know that he can do that shit. I know he could be bigger than this bullshit he be putting himself through. It's just that simple. Push come to shove. She know I've been trying to sign, bro. If you if you fuck with him enough, you know I've been, I've been trying to sign him. Everybody know I've been trying. You feel me? So goddamn. When the shit came out about him, you know what I'm saying? Beat bop boop, booping his bitch. I call him. Hey, fix this. I'm balling up contracts, bitch. You gotta fix this. Cause I can't I can't fuck with nobody with that type of image. You gotta fix this. I'm literally telling bro, hey, fix this. My mom just said I can't fuck with you until you fix this. But the hold don't know that because I'm she's not supposed to tell her everything. Hey, I told Flo that if he don't fix the thing with you guys' relationship, I can't sign him. But straight up, when the shit had happened, I'm a real bitch. I'm gonna get both sides. I hit Shout up on Instagram, call me. She told me all that terrifying ass shit. Get what I told Shout You need a room? You need this? You need that? Hey, I'll give you this. You scrape? I'm gonna help you. You feel me? I'm offering help, bitch. I know I know about domestic violence and I ain't with it, because y'all know I'd have been through some bullshit. I'd have been through some bullshit. You hear me? She more mad at me for not helping helping them cancel flow. Oh, I'm not finna help nobody down a nigga that I done been around too much. The fuck? If anything, I'm gonna help you fix your mistakes. Hey, bitch, like, look, you went wrong right here. I ain't finna just, you went wrong. Ugh, let's kick him. No. Bitch, you went wrong. And I scared her toe flow. I called him a bitch too, bitch. Uh-uh. Like, okay, she was she hit you first, which is what she told me. She hit that nigga first. I, I ain't gonna even like, hey, and we, we always be fighting. 
I ended up batting him in this shit because I seen the bitch calling his phone. And, and, and that's what you told me. So as soon as you told me that you bat him in his shit, I started reversing all this shit. Oh, she bat him in his shit. He got his lick back. He got too many licks back. So I went over there and told him, bitch, you know, bitch, you know you wrong. You beat that girl because, like, you ain't, I ain't gonna just set up, sit up there. I can't even sit up there and say he just beat the girl. You got too many licks back. But you got too many licks back. Like, you got too many licks back. Too many licks back. And I straight up said it. I'm, I'm a real bitch. I don't have to get on the internet and say, hey, friend, you're wrong. Fuck you. I don't have to do that because, number one, regardless, I'm going to still, I'm, I'm going to win whether I hang or not hang is what a bitch don't understand. I built this shit off the ground by who? Self. So the bitch really wanted me to just, like, help her counsel this nigga. Nobody really cares about something, something, something. Fast forward all that. I ain't had nothing to do with nothing. What the fuck? Yeah, fast forward. I ain't had nothing to do with nothing. And I'm like, damn, what the fuck him? This fuck, he called my fucking phone. Yeah, I really don't have nothing to do with nothing with this shit. I literally just wanted to sign flow. And her. But she reminded me of fucking Chucky. The bitch is Chuckisha. I'm, why is you telling me that you toxic? Soon as I met the hoe, she like, yeah, we're toxic. I be beating his ass. You told me this. out your face, bitch, when I first met you. I'm like, ooh, yeah, I don't play with my hoe like that. I'm telling y'all, ooh, I don't play with my hoe. Ooh, she be fine, you. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah, I'm crinks and chin in a bitch. I'm not feeling what? I'm, I'm straight up telling y'all, oh, y'all toxic. Y'all different from us. We don't do that. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm already knowing y'all go through shit. So, I'm not the type to sit up there and hop on the internet and act like y'all don't even, y'all been bumping. And everybody know that. Y'all been fighting. Y'all been <laughs> headbutting each other. Bitch, don't put me in that and don't play with me because I stay in Atlanta and I'm not with all that. Like, I'm not I'm not with all that. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? What make y'all think I, leave? I, like, I even give a fuck? So, yesterday, I guess Flo went live. She texted my phone and said, I don't know why you let him do that because he really finna go to jail now. Let a grown-ass man that's not in Atlanta in my house do what? Do let, let him. Bitch, she like, I took a nigga off the leash and said, get him. I ain't take that nigga off no leash, bitch. He doing what he want to do, saying what he want to say. Bitch, you, you been bashing a nigga for seven days. I would have had to say something too. You been bashing a nigga for seven days, bitch. You ain't got to talk about something else. That's how I feel. We got to come up with another discussion. You, 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 Fuck. So, she got to talk too much shit. Bitch, I'ma do this. I bitch, I'm, I'm, I'm reading the text message just like, bitch, I called her phone. I had to look her in her face and make sure she said that. I called her phone. I said, Corinna, who you talking to? Get what the bitch said. You okay? That's all I need to hear. I'm, I'm, I woke up this morning wanting to play a bowl because I know that's what she say. Bitch. Ooh, I woke up on a play a bowl. That's what had happened. So, child, as y'all heard, I guess that's what made it lead up to what's going on now. Because she let the man stay there. He went live, lying. She got pissed. They start changing words. Talking about dyke. This ain't no, I don't want to fight no dyke. And Frank's tipping. Baby, then it got to the fight. <laughs> Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god, stop fucking lying. She wasn't gonna get dead. She wasn't, a bitch wasn't gonna even do her that bad. What really happened was, I pull up, she already on the phone with my ex telling my ex shit like, um, yeah, you need to tell her that she wrong and we don't even need to be beefing. No, you talked enough shit yesterday. I'm here. Okay? I'm here. And I'm and and for the live, for, for future references, I didn't pull up for her. I pulled up for that player bowl. Cause I got my player bowl too. Bitch telling me to come in her apartment. I'm not finna come through that motherfucking glass windshield. Is you crazy, ho? You trying to lock me in there, bitch? The hoe was trying to pick us up. Shout it, shout it literally like, I don't know if Korean was throwing marshmallows away. It wouldn't affect the shot. Shout it down, still look perfect. You hear me? Down still look perfect. I looked shot in her face. I said perfect. This bitch so stupid. Like, why you ain't fight me? Cause I, I can't even do all the shit. She did. You should have fought me. When I you should I was, I was your best bet. Mm -mm. Yeah, because I, I really want to see this. Cause I feel as though that maybe maybe it was wrong. It, well, it, it it is low key wrong that they outnumbered you. But um I, I just personally feel as though it should be case going to keep the same energy when your people show up. <laughs> I don't. I feel like Kay is going to try to pull out that gun and get trigger happy. Honestly. Mm. Mm. Just you like, don't think she's gonna come outside? Just like she was trying to do this time with when she pulled up with two motherfuckers. And then, like I said, Kay cannot be trusted. She told me she was by herself. She basically stepped me up for real, for real. Because I told her. You got I the messages? Because I'm by myself. You got the messages and stuff? No. What she did, 
she had a date. Her other her other girlfriend called me, but she pulled up with a bitch that she was cheating on her with. Oh, shit. That's why Day is on K ass now. Oh, shit. And Day is the ex or the current girlfriend. Ex that she's still entertaining. Because she's the one who called. K, Day is the one who hit me up like, K is outside. Go outside. I'm like, okay, I'll go outside, but is she by herself? She like, um, yeah, she just told me she by herself, which is why I, I, so I go out there and I see it's both of them out there. I'm like, I thought she was by yourself. And she like, she, I seen her take the gun out and hand her the gun. I'm like, so you bring guns down? That's what we doing? What the fuck in the entanglement is going on? So she had the ex-girlfriend come there. She not really fucking with, but mm -hmm. the, the, the ex that she was fucking with found out that she was bringing the other ex that she really wasn't fucking with but fucking with to fight you mm -hmm. what the, the fuck now what i will say k hood that's a little fucked up y'all should have jumped that girl if your assistant was fighting her let your assistant fight her but i know you had no you know you had a little animosity in there too because she was popping up at you so i understand let me get my licks in but i just don't condone jumping i just i don't i don't like jumping i think jumping is so sorry and tired i don't like jumping now, if your girl would have stopped, and then you like, bitch, get up. Now, you fight her. I get it. But, Karina, is your face not tired? I'm sorry. I can't be. I'm sorry. Let me heal. I'm not going to be in these streets doing this and doing that. I, I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be in those streets. Let me heal. <laughs> I'm, I'm still bruised up. So, now, I guess uh, Karina family going to come and handle some shit. Whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. Baby, at this point, uh, they all need to get uh, Is this Houston? Because if this is the case, they need Jesus out there. My God, my God. Well, y'all gonna keep an eye on this. I don't know what's gonna happen. But Karina, I don't know, baby. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Okay, so they said that you told her they was toxic, that you was toxic, y'all. That shit was this, and you be beating his ass, and maybe that's what the other folks were saying when they was like, you ain't as innocent as you seem. And from the looks of it, all this shit just going on and popping up. Maybe, man, I, let me go on and edit this. We're gonna have, I gave y'all what I could give you, what I could scrounge up real quick. But baby, Lord, how much? This is a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It ain't about me. Let's keep keeping it. A whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on.